I work in about eight languages. I was brought up bilingual speaking French and English. I started studying Latin when I was 10. I lived in Italy when I was five. So I had a pretty good head start on things. But then in that dark period when everyone wears black and I never quite got over it and you want to read Nietzsche, it became important to me to study German. And once I read German, it became important to me to study Greek. Once you had Latin and Greek, I needed to add Hebrew. I had some friends and I took some cooking classes in Japanese, had a little bit of a background in that, do a little work in Spanish and Portuguese as well. The story is by a man called E.T.A. Hoffman. You may know him because he's the one who wrote the story on which the Nutcracker Suite is based. So he wrote a story called The Sandman. It's about a young university student called Nathaniel who has a childhood memory of a strange man coming to his parents' house every evening and him being shooed out of the room when this strange man came and upset his parents. He would go to his bedroom and he would try to fall asleep and not succeed, so his grandma used to tell him a terrible folk tale about the Sandman who descends on children who are so naughty that they don't fall asleep, casts sand in their eyes and when they're blinking and screaming, plucks their eyes out and takes them home to feed to his children. But the image that everyone remembers beyond Nathaniel's sad story is of the Sandman coming at night to naughty little children who if they will not close their eyes cannot keep their eyes. I spend a lot of time building websites using every possible audiovisual medium that's available to me to transport people imaginatively. But that's all presentational. That's me showing them, taking them places. When you teach, and I teach a lot of large lecture classes as well as small advanced classes for undergraduates and graduates, you spend a lot of time trying to figure out what's going on behind the two eyeballs that you see replicated 250 times in front of you. I just throw up Twitter with a hashtag for the class. And so whatever's going in their head it comes up and I respond to it. They can use the Twitter app of class to talk with each other and to talk with me. It's a smooth interface and it eliminates some of my more embarrassing misguesses as to what they're thinking. I picked Jekyll and Hyde because that's the past part from the 1880s. The Jack the Ripper cases, the terrors of urbanization and imperialism, being in a big city where things that you thought humans weren't capable of doing started to happen around you. I want us to think about whether that split identity that Londoners experienced, I suppose now 130 years ago, is part of our current life. 